Hi, my name is Barry Sloan White, and I've been a volunteer with International Alliance for Missions for about 12 years now. One of the dreams that we've had over those years is to create an opportunity to minister to missionaries. We call that His Secret Place. And for the last four years, we've been doing that every single year. Missionaries from all around the world have come together here at His Secret Place and been pampered, been loved, been encouraged, been motivated, prayed for, to help them continue on in their calling and in their work in ministry. You know, one of the things that the church has often been accused of is shooting its wounded. I don't think that's really fair, but just in case that's the picture that some people have, I want to tell you that here at His Secret Place in Mission to Missionaries, we are doing just the opposite. We are bringing missionaries from all over the world and we are doing exactly what the Bible says, bearing one another's burdens. We're encouraging them, we're praying with them, we're helping them to relax everything from a physical massage, from a physiotherapist, to good meals, or well, great meals, to outings, to boat rides, spiritual times together, prayer together, helping to build them up so that they can go back into the battle, into the service that God's called them to. That's why I volunteer here. That's why I'm here this week. And I thank God for the opportunity of investing in His workers, in His body, in His kingdom. I think for me, one of the main things it has meant is to be um, away from the usual pressure schedule, be able to um, rest, relax, and do s some very interesting things like a boat tour and hiking. And, um, you know, things that we would not spend money on. Mm -hmm. That's been a, a very, very special feeling that we've been given a big, big treat. Holiday that we probably needed but never would have paid for for ourselves. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to sound as if we're impoverished, but there isn't a lot of money for just fun things. Um, mm -hmm. It was rather different than I expected. I think I had envisioned something more retreat, monastic retreat style, and I'd be sitting around reading. Uh, I've been much more so, a I've appreciated being thought of as a missionary again. <laughs> because I'm not sure yeah. in our home church most people realize what we've done. Yeah. I'm not good at talking about myself. It's nice to be with people who know something about, well, they know why I'm here. For his secret place. Because of the um, kindness, the personality of the His Secret Place leaders like yourself. And that has added so much to the week. Yes. It's just your kindness, your, your, yeah. That, that wonderful touch that you guys have. Even by uh, leading them in worship, it just creates an atmosphere for them to just not have to be leaders themselves, they can just relax and enjoy the presence of the Lord and I enjoy being able to use my gifts in that area and it's just different than being in church ministry because you're actually ministering to people who are in full-time ministry and I just enjoy yeah, doing so that. I find it uh, very refreshing to be among these people that have so much vision themselves that it, it gives me more of a vision and I just feel that I have helped them in some small way. In their the opportunity to connect with these people who are have so many different life experiences, experiences in different parts of our world, mm -hmm. and for us here in Newfoundland to actually play a part to encourage these people uh, toward ministry, and as Kathy said, to use 
our gifts and, and talents to encourage someone there, uh, it makes, I guess it gives us a feeling that we are actually in some small way contributing to that ministry. This has been an amazing week, amazing number of days. Just so restful and peaceful and free. Very affirming too of the vision, the dreams that because God has given us. Because we were, you gave us the chance to say, yeah, I want to do that, or if you don't, that's fine too. You know, there was lots of things, there were a lot of things to do, but if we needed a chance just to hang in our room or go to our own thing, that was absolutely fine too. No pressure. No I remember pressure. when we arrived and they insisted on grabbing our suitcases. And right away I was like, wow. A sensation was starting to come over me that really only hit me once we got up to our room. And then they had the nice presentation for us and the outline of what the week would look like. And just I just felt this, just this feeling of being completely overwhelmed because I was being cared for in ways that we've wanted to care for our own missionaries and, and worked at caring for our own missionaries. I think it's because it just seems too good to believe, you know, it's like, come on. And <clears throat> I just, yeah, I think that's the reason that it would be hard for them to, like, wow, it could this be? And so, but the reasons we would tell them, all the reasons that we ourselves have just been saying for us, you know, this is restful, it's energizing, it's peaceful, it's affirming, and it really will get you to that next um, station along the way that you need to get to. And we already have some, a couple of people in mind that we want to talk to about this. Mm -hmm. And we'll definitely be recommending this from a mission perspective as well.